start with is with the foundation, the ah. Now the ah is going forth. It's a it's a, an active thing, a male attribute, as it were, compared to the feminine or receptive, which will come next, and that's the second uh, attribute. But the first attribute, the ah, the going forth, is the foundation. And so, in giving this to early man, um, because he, his intellect, um, he could comprehend things, but it had to be within the context of his milieu, within the context of his environment that was filled with creatures of all sorts and carnivores and and all manner of creeping things as the wasp says besides other people as well so um, in teaching the the Samoan concepts to man they had to relate to man as he was then and something that he could easily relate to so if we say ah is the foundation, we are basically talking about from the corporeal point of view, from the mortal man point of view. If you look out and you can see the ground in front of you, and that's like a foundation. It stretches out like 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 the ah symbol. It's it's just you look at the, there's a horizon line out there. There it is. There's your ah, and so it came to be known as earth or uh, the ground. So this word ah then becomes the foundation. It means foundation. The ah sound. Now when Samoin was given, the beauty of Samoin is that the sounds that were given with Samoin, Samoin are the soul sounds. Because man, even though he didn't understand the soul and all that way back then, he still could hear the soul. He could still react to the soul. He could still uh, perceive, listen, and hear the soul, what the soul said regarding certain things, the sounds that the soul made, made uh, as it came to his ears, and so he would express those. And when he looked out and he said, ah, 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 that's the soul form, ah, ah, the foundation. So that, so that when we look at cycles, the first cycle, uh, which is not a zero cycle. It's it's the foundation cycle, the very first cycle. So for a child, it would be from from his birth until the first year. Or it would have been for if we're looking at years, and we're going to predict our prophecy with regarding years. Then the first one, the first year, the foundation year would be from 1849, summer of 1849, June solstice 1849 to the June solstice of 1850. And that's our foundation year, our foundation cycle. Now the foundation lays the foundation for everything. Everything that's built up from this foundation um, becomes in a way the responsibility of whoever it is that laid out that foundation. Because that's the way that Jehovah made his creation for with regard to responsibility. And so if, if you make a foundation, it doesn't have to be a physical foundation, it can be a mental foundation, it can be a spiritual foundation, it could be an emotional foundation, it could be a project, the foundation of a project, it doesn't matter, it, uh, cycles can be applied to anything. And so if you have a project that you're starting, you lay the foundation for it, and that always comes first, always the foundation comes first. And how that foundation is laid out will determine, you see, the things that are built from it. And anything that's built from it, uh, if we build it correctly, then good will come out of that. That's because we're, we're sowing good, and so, uh, and, and depending upon how closely it resembles the structure of the universe, how close it is to Jehovah, in other words, then the more enduring is the foundation. And the... Um, thing we have to keep in mind is not all foundations are long enduring and we know that it seems rather obvious to say that but uh, some foundations are meant to be just only temporary so for example when the angels come the Ethereum angels uh, to deliver man during a Dan Hay uh, the dawn of Dan Hay the start of the 3000 year cycle and they will 
uh, during the five or seven years or so that they're there, uh, they will lay a foundation for that entire Dan Hay cycle. Sometimes when they're laying the foundation, it's not only for the foundation for that Dan Hay cycle, but for the square, which is a, uh, which has to do with the density, uh, uh, the ethy density, and it has to do with and it's uh, comprised of four cycles, and that's twelve thousand years, which then we also know as an era, and that can also be shown on a chart. And, and as a matter of fact, if you uh, a lot of these things were taught to man, especially through the Dark Ages. Uh, this information was kept alive through uh, whatever uh, means was, was available for them to, to keep the information alive. Well, this with the Twelve, that, was, that came, uh, we know that from the uh, Zodiac, from the Ankh, as Owaspi Samoyan calls it, and, which is number 49, and we won't, won't get anywhere near that number here today. But. But the Ankh is divided into 12 houses, 12 sections, 12 units. And 12 is very important. 12 is the next step. It's the first start of the repeat of that 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 10, 10, 11. Boom, 12. And 12 is man. Woo! And then man goes through that row. Well, there's meanings for all these things and their positions and all that stuff. And, and they're all connected together with cycles. I, I, any cycle, because what happens with the with the foundation is you lay your foundation, and so anything that comes from that foundation, then, as we mentioned, uh, whoever lays it out has to be responsible for what comes forth from that foundation, to the extent that Jehovah holds holds them to that by His light within, and. For those who serve Jehovah, that's great because that's marvelous, that's wonderful because his responsibility, as it says in Owaspi, and I'll just maybe paraphrase, but it's like the, the weight of a fly on the shoulder. It's, it's very little uh, it's, as far as the weight of it that, that you feel, but it's, it's rather it's a joy because labor itself is a joy uh, when we rise up beyond the beast in particular because the spirit grows by giving away, it grows by labor, from laboring. And it becomes a joy and, and, a, and a rest to actually labor. And that actually pertains to number 13, which is the next number after man. This is part of the explanation of, of, of how the universe works. But you, you, we have to start with the first row, which has to do with the foundation. And by the way, before we move on, we would like to mention about how the foundation, it says in Owaspi, well, it was sort of warned, you know, to people, well, kind of avoid if you can, numbers 1, 11, 66, and 666, because those are the numbers of the, of the beast, or it's difficult to, to, uh, to deal with, the difficult numbers to deal with, and the reason that one is so difficult to deal with it because foundations are extremely difficult. A good foundation, extremely difficult to lay out a good foundation. It's a lot of, you have to put a lot of effort into anybody who knows that who's done a project. Um, but regardless of, of, of what the foundation is, if we create a foundation then we become responsible for things that are built from that foundation and so that's why we always take caution with the foundation which is number one the first thing the ah 